directors and the studio folk are just um, incredible, easygoing. We've been doing it for, for a long time, and uh, it was fun. It was fun to play Talia. And you know what, too? It, it's really, it's tough because it's not like when you're in working on a TV series or a film where you can actually maybe talk to the, the writer, you know, and, and discuss a few things, and depending on where your character is going, this you really have no choice. You just basically go in, you do the script as written, and um, unless you need to tweak it, but otherwise you really have no say in what happens because it's already been done. I just had something I thought might be fun to, to share with you because well, this isn't what the character's already been drawn. Uh, most often, uh, the people who are doing the animation might be somewhere in the Orient, Korea, China, wherever, that's where a lot of it is done. And the, the voice talent is in North America. And uh, I was involved in a series of um, Dennis the Menace many years ago. And, yeah! <laughs> I played Alice, the mom, and also Martha, the old lady who lives next door. But, um, when the, the animation came from Korea, everyone had slanted eyes. And it, this was kind of a totally, un, you know, kind of unplanned on the part of the animators, but they were Asian people, and uh, they depicted the characters according to their lights. So of course they had to be set back uh, the project and redone again because uh, Dennis and his mom are not Asian. Uh, speaking of Asian Korean guys, no. Uh, oh, here you go. A <laughs> uh, random question for Venus: If Black Arachnia had to go on a date between Silver Bowl and Tarantulas, who would she choose and why? That's a tough one. Um, uh, but I will have to say Silver Bowl. Um, but there was this connection, right, with Silver Bowl, and uh, I think Silver Bowl understood. Black arachnia, a lot better than tarantulas. Tarantulas had his own getting agenda and stuff going on, but I think so it's a little bit more. Thank you. It was in LA, but the production company was French, called Deke Animation, and they had some kind of a, a deal going with Canada. So uh, again, a slightly unorthodox situation, which you had a cast of Canadian actors living in LA, working under a Canadian contract with a French company. That's right. The late great. It, it was we were we were a team, you know. And once you work with a group, the same group every week, recording every week, and it's always the same people, you become very familiar with each other's style and manner of work. And uh, we were with Hanna Barbera. Uh, we would always have a rehearsal. You know, when it came to the stuff we did for Dennis the Menace and Heathcliff and all the other stuff we did with Deep, the same team basically, we just winged it. We just recorded right off the top. And um, it was enormous freedom. Of course, we could always go back and do retakes, but uh, in terms of the funny stories with Phil, not so much a funny story I remember. He was just about to leave for New York at the time. And uh, he could do anything. And he could also do imitations of celebrities, whether it was. John Wayne or Sylvester Stallone or I mean whoever you wanted, he had that voice, you know, right right there. He really was a genius voice actor and uh, what a loss to the community when, when he died, especially in such tragic circumstances. Um, and my question for Venus, I saw that Well, I have done that before, and I do have experience. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> um, Maybe I, 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 I'm not. Look, I, I, you know, I. One of my favorite channels, believe it or not, is the ID channel, and I watch it because I love to see, you know, real life murders that took place in a story format. Um, I, I'm not as violent as you might think I am. I, I probably would maybe poison their tea or something like that. <laughs> something very, very simple. 
you know? It's like, yeah. Exactly. <laughs>